Hello. Hi, good morning. Hello, teacher. <laughs> How are you this morning? I'm good. And uh, tell me about yesterday. Where did you go? In town. Uh, what was the name of the place you went to? Do you remember? I um, don't know. Yeah. And and how about when you're there? What what were you doing? Swim. You swim. And how about when you were swimming? Did you see fish? No. No fish? Yes. And uh, how about uh, uh, when you were there, did you eat food? Yes. What did you eat? I eat bread. Uh, you ate bread and food. what else? Noodles. Oh, noodles. I like noodles. Was it like with a soup or no? Oh, just one moment. Let me let the cleaning. So uh, after that, you you swim and then you eat, right? Yes. Oh, okay. And what time did you get home? Late at night. Is seven thirty. Wow! So kind of late. And and how about last night? What did you do last night? Eat bread. <laughs> you eat a lot of bread, don't you? Yes. And um, if you get a chance, look at your Viber. I sent you a link to a movie. And you can watch this movie on the internet. It's called Call of the Wild. But I, I know it's in English, but I think you will be interested in this movie. So if you get a chance, watch it. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. So try it. There are many, many free movies on YouTube, which I'm sure you know. Okay, and how about breakfast? What did you eat for breakfast? Noodles. This morning? Yes. Yeah. And um, I meant to ask you, uh, how many days are you out of school? Uh, two months or uh, one month? No class. Uh, uh. One month? Okay. Very good. Well, thank you. Let's go to... Um, you have the document open. Let's go to page number two. It's talking about the life cycle. Fitting in comparison, daily child, listening, speaking English. Good morning. How yeah. is your yeah. morning? Yeah, we went through that. So go down to the next page, page two. The life cycle. Right. When, when you play in sin, does is die in sin forward no place in animals ground in chain throughout their, their lives. lives their lives many plays begin as this as the sin yes what it needs needs water sunlight and 
nutrients from the soil. It begins to grow. The sand turns into a little sub sprout. It gets growing until it is a full ground plant then the plant makes a makes new seeds so that new plants can grow even after the plant grows on and dies those seeds will then go throughout their drought process because seeds go through this process over and over again it is called a life cycle animals also have life cycles okay so when you read that what does that mean to you there's a beginning like a seed and an end when the plant dies it's called a cycle and I gave you an illustration there of the life cycle of a frog and below that a plant. You see that? Yes. Okay. Okay, I lost video. Lost connection. <laughs> there you are. Okay, so see where it says a frog begins as an egg it's a, yeah can you read that please eggs tapple tapple with less froglet a doomed frog yes so that shows you your life cycle okay so yes. uh, read below that please. A frog a begins frog as begins, an egg. A frog begins as an egg. When the egg hatches, it turns into a table. The tables growls and ants and eventually, eventually grow into dunes frogs. The a dune frost laid as so that new frogs can lie live live even after the frog grows on and dies. Right. A dog like city is a dog's life cycle is a little different than a frog because a dog does not start out as an egg. It is born from its mother belly. The purple keeps growing and is eventually undone dog. Then the undone dog might have pupils Puppies. to continue the leap cycle. Right. Insects like caterpillars go through life cycles too. Caterpillars. Yeah, that's called caterpillar. Caterpillar. Begin as it is. When they hatch, they are lava. The caterpillar. Caterpillar. Caterpillar becomes a pupa. 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 And inside of the pupa, it turns into a dung. The dung is not a caterpillar. It is a butterfly. Right. Then the butterfly's place is so that new caterpillars and butterflies can live even after the butterfly grows on and dies. Right. 
hands and animal lungs stay the same throughout their lips they growl and chant throughout their life scope. And this gives you an illustration of a plant from a seed until it till it dies. Um, do you have uh, butterflies where you live? Yes. And are they small or big or different size? How They're big? Small. Uh, the, most of them are small and what color are they? What color are the butterflies? Grouse. Oh, okay. They're brown. Okay. You have two questions there. What can you say about that? What is the short story most, mostly about? And what do you think? Life cycle. Exactly. Exactly. And read the next question. What is a life cycle? Do our life cycles have things in common? Okay. And what is a life cycle? Is it's from beginning? Yes. To what? End. From beginning to end. There's another phrase that sometimes you will hear and it means the same thing. Have you ever heard something, someone say Alpha Omega? Alpha Omega is beginning and end. And you might read about that in church, I'm not sure. Okay. Let's go to yes. the next one. It's a nonfiction. Also, it's about clouds. What are clouds? A cloud is made of water drops or ice. Skies. Crystals. Squiddles floating in the sky. Right. There are many kinds of clouds. Clouds, clouds are an important part of it. Earth weather. is weather. Right. How do clouds form? The sky can be full of water. But most of the time you can see the weather. The drops of water are too small to see. They have turned into a gas car. Water for pool. As the water the pole goes higher in the sky, the air gets cooler. The cooler air causes the water droplets to start to stick to things like pieces of dust, ice, or sea salt. Sea salt. Sea salt. Exactly. What are some types of clouds? Clouds get their names in two ways. One way is by where they are found in the sky. Some clouds are high up in the sky. Help clouds from closer to Earth surface. In fact, loud clouds can even choke the ground right. is close or cold. For middle clouds are found between all and high clouds. Any other way clouds are named is by their shape. Correct. She just Clouds are high clouds, yeah, they look like feathers. Feathers. Cumulus clouds. Cumulus clouds 
or middle clouds is clouds look like green cotton giant, bones. Giant cotton balls. Giant cotton bones in the sky. Status clouds are loud clouds. They cover the sky like bad seeds. What causes rain? Most of the weather in clouds is in very small droplets. The droplets are so light they float in the air. Right. Sometimes those droplets don't wait all the droplets then they turn into like drops. When what happens? When that happens. Gravity happens. Gravity causes them to fall to earth. We call the falling by the drops rain. Right. When the air is colder, the water away from snowflakes. Instead, freezing rain, sleet, or even hail can fall from clouds. Right. Why does necessary study clouds? Clouds are important for many reasons. Rain and snow are two of those reasons. At night, clouds reflect, 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 hit and keep the ground warmer. Right. During the day, during the day, clouds make share that can keep us cooler. Cool. Studying clouds has NASA yet better understand us whether NASA use satellites satellites in spite to study clouds. NASA also studies clouds on the on other planets. 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 Mars has clouds <laughs> that are like the clouds on Earth. But other planets have clouds that aren't made of matter. For example, Jupiter has clouds made of a gas called Ammonia. Ammonia. Right. That, by the way, that picture is from NASA. And if you make it larger, you can see that that is the um, illustration of the Earth, but also you can see Vietnam if you look closely. Okay. Okay. Uh, read number one. Uh, what do drops of water turn into? Do you remember what happens to water? Yes. It turns into a vapor and then it goes in the clouds, right? Yes. What are two ways clouds get their names? How, how do we know? By where they're located and how they look, right? Yeah. Okay. What kind of clouds are the high clouds? Cirrus clouds, right? Yes. Okay. Which clouds look like giant cotton balls? Cumulus clouds. Cumulus clouds. Yeah. And what causes drops of water to fall to earth? Gravity causes. Right, right. And we talked about NASA. They use it to study clouds. What do they use to study clouds? I don't know. They use satellites. They use a satellite. Do you know what a satellite is? No. Okay. Uh, I'll get you some images of satellites for next time. Um, one thing about this, you should know, um, 
you talk with your mommy sometimes with a cell phone, right? Yes. And do you message her or text her or just only call? Yeah. Do you ever text her? You send her a text or a message? Can yes. You, okay. You know, you might think about this. Sometimes in your city, I see news that you have really, really bad weather and flooding and lots and lots of water. So after those storms are over, maybe you should send a message to your mommy letting you know, hey, I'm okay. We had a lot of rain, but no problem at my house because she's far away from you, so she doesn't know. It's something you might want to think about, her, okay? Yes. Okay, we're in the last page already. Page seven. Yeah. Can you look at that, please? Indicate the set of books, cat and dog as a set. How would you do that? Zooming like this, so the set of number containing thirty, ninety, fifteen, seven, and nineteen three. Okay. Uh, how would you do that? Open bracket, thirteen, nineteen, fifty-seven, ninety-three. Close bracket. Right. Yes. Okay. How about the next one? The question of all whole, whole, whole numbers, numbers whole numbers greater than five and less than eight is shown by this set like this open like this six seven close like this like this use like this to show that the set of Wolf whole numbers. numbers whole numbers greater than ninety and less than twenty three. Now remember whole numbers are counting numbers. So greater than uh what did it say? Use practice to show the set of whole numbers greater than 19, less than 23. What would that be? Write a set of both whole numbers greater than 7 and less than 11. Okay, what is that? Open bracket. 8, 9, 10, close bracket, right? Yes. Okay. Next one. The set of even numbers greater than 1 and less than 9 is open bracket 2, 4, 6, 8. Write a set of even numbers greater than 1 and less than 7. Even numbers. What would that be? How would you do that? Open bracket. Yes. Two. Four, six, eight. Close bracket. Okay. How about open bracket six, close bracket, is the set of even numbers greater than five and less than eight. Write the set of even numbers greater than 16 and less than 19. What would that answer be? Open bracket. Open bracket. Two, four. Well, actually, in this case, the set of even numbers greater than 16 and less than 19. So that would be open bracket 17, 18, Seven. 17, 18, close bracket, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, almost finished. The set of whole numbers 
greater than 4 and less than 7 can be stated as a set of whole numbers between 4 and 7. Open bracket, 8, 9, close bracket is a set of whole numbers greater than 7 and less than 10. Okay, look at the last sentence. The set of even all numbers. The, all the sets of whole numbers. Greater than 98. You see that last sentence? Yes. The set of even numbers greater than 98 and less than 104. Okay, you finish reading, please. Seven and ten. Okay, now read the last sentence. The set of even numbers greater than 98 and less than 104 can be described as the even numbers between 98 and 104. The set of even numbers greater than 98 and less than 104 can be described. Described. Yeah. Right. As the even numbers between 98 and 104, write this set during brackets. Okay, how would you write that? Open bracket. 98, 104, close bracket, bracket. Okay, all right, all right, very good. Well, I think we're finished for today. Uh, like I said, I sent you a link on Viber. There's a movie. It's on YouTube. It's free. It's called Call of the Wild. I know it's English, but if you have a chance, try watch that and let me know what you think, okay? Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for your time, and I hope you have a good day. Goodbye. Aloha. Thank you again.